Hello everyone, I am Matias Rodriguez and during the last six weeks I explored 13 billion different ways to allocate crew at this agent. But let me start from the beginning. As in any other job, disruption in crew availability can happen due to airport disruption, maybe due to flight delays or due to crew sickness. And this is a major problem for a commercial airline company. Let me show you an example. We're in summer, analysis in Luton, about to take her flight to go to Barcelona to spend her holidays. And in Barcelona, we have Bob, who has bought tickets with EasyJet to go visiting his friends in Luton. Actually, Bob is waiting for the plane which is coming from Luton to go to London. So if for any reason there's no available crew to fly in Luton, both flights are going to be delayed or even cancelled. Now, it's a scientifically proven fact that people get mad with delays, not to mention with cancellations. So, Lack of crew implies propagated delays and cancellations that can lead to important losses for the company. The solution, of course, is to allocate standby crew. But how do we do it? Let's go back to our example. How do we allocate standby crew to ensure that Alice and Bob can arrive at their destinations? A flight operates with six crew members and, you know, we have been doing this route for a while, so we know that usually no one is missing. But sometimes there might be one crew member that is, that is not able to fly. Also, it is summer, and we know from experience that disruption is more likely to happen in this period. Moreover, we're having some delays in Barcelona. So, you know, we're going to allocate three crew members as a standby because we don't want to take the risk. Okay, this was easy and conservative, as it just consists in a couple of flights during the summer day. But EasyJet operates more than 1,600 flights per day, which interact with each other, as we saw in 30 bases across Europe, with three shifts to cover per day, and we have different crew ranks that cannot replace each other. So if we are to schedule a standby crew for a month, this leaves us with more than 8,000 duties to cover almost 50,000 flights. The possibilities are billions, and making a flight-by-fly -flight analysis like the previous one is simply impossible for a human. But what if we could use data from previous schedules and disruption together with modern machine learning techniques to make smart allocation schemes tailored for every single airport, every day of the year, and at any single time of the day. Well, this is exactly what I did. And now let me show you how I use machine learning to allocate standby crew. First, I developed a model which, given the data from schedules and missing crew, it learns from features like interaction between flights or seasonality or different rush hours for different airports and many other features. And then using logistic regression, it estimates the probability distributions for every duty. But what does it mean? It means that it can answer the question, what is the probability of having, say, 10 missing people in Luton tomorrow morning, for instance? But even with these probabilities, how does the model know what the scenarios it should cover. In other words, what is the risk it should take when allocating crew? What are the actual numbers to pick? Uh, here's where the cool part comes. I created a framework not used by the company before to effectively, effectively simulate billion of possible scenarios. So with this new toolkit, the model can now explore billions of possibilities and learn what is the correct risk to take. That is, what is the optimal number of crew members that it has to allocate for every duty. Once the model has learned from data, we can give to it a new flight schedule and empowered with this new uh, simulations toolkit I developed, it assesses the adequate risk and it finally gives us a smartly allocated standby crew roster. The obvious question now is, but does it work? Uh, the answer is yes, it does. I tested it on separate data for which we know what actually happened. And in all cases, it allocates 30% less crew, and yet it misses 35% less flights than the current baseline model, reducing costs in a standby crew by 30%. So basically, it does more with less. The power of trying billion of possibilities is what gives um, a competitive advantage to the machine, of course. So in conclusion, I created a simulator uh, new to the company to optimize the standby crew allocation. I showed that this new framework, together with other machine learning techniques, can unlock sizable cost reductions in standby crew. Moreover, it also opens the door to EasyJet to test new smart allocation models 
uh, by means of simulations. And last but not least, the new small location scheme implies less missing crew and hence less delays, probably saving Alice and Bob's holidays. Thank you.